Hi everyone, I'm Scott Micklin. We are down at the Farmington Civic Center in one of the final rehearsals for Wizard of Oz that is opening this weekend. That is our KSJE on the road. We're going to talk with some of the cast and crew of Wizard of Oz and of course the man behind the production, Randy West, on our latest edition of KSJE on the road. KSJE On the Road is supported by Four Corners Economic Development, supporting and building economically vibrant businesses and communities in the Four Corners region through effective partnerships. Foresaid is a public-private partnership that unites county and municipal governments with its member businesses and other resource partners to build the intentional economic future of San Juan County. Learn more about the ways Foresaid is helping existing businesses thrive and grow and attracting new businesses to the community at the number 4 cornersed.com. There are days when the weight of the world is heavy on your shoulders. But there is something you should know. You are never alone. There are beautiful people in this world who will walk with you when you feel off course, guide you when you need it most. They are there for you, and they're closer than you think. KSJE On the Road is supported by the San Juan County Partnership, whose mission is working together with people of all ages and cultures to develop community wellness and prevention awareness. The San Juan County Partnership is a nonprofit community action agency facilitating collaboration and resource identification and sharing. The partnership provides prevention programming for youth and families, raising awareness of prevention efforts, supporting community planning activities and projects, and serves as a forum for community input, networking, and research sharing. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Forgive me for not greeting you in person. I require your assistance. You must go to the crime scene and examine it with a fresh eye. Test Scotland Yard's findings. Trust the evidence, not the theories. Collect the data and record your observations in your notebooks. Hurry along now. The game's afoot. KSJE On the Road is supported by San Juan County, building a stronger community since 1887. San Juan County includes the San Juan County Sheriff's Office, San Juan County Fire and Rescue, San Juan County Office of Emergency Management, and Riverview Golf Course in Kirtland. The mission of San Juan County is to provide responsible public services through the direction of the County Commission, while striving to be professional, courteous, and committed to improving the quality of life for citizens that it serves. Learn more. I love my job. I make a difference in someone's life today. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Please help me, my I'm child. Sending the paramedics to help you stay in the ward. The payoff to know that my career provides someone with the help they need when they need it. That's why I do what I do. KSJE On the Road is supported by Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance Agency with local offices in Farmington and Durango. Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance provides their clients a consultative, customized approach for discovering and mitigating risk. Their four-step comprehensive approach includes commercial insurance, employee benefits, personal insurance, and proactive safety and HR tools for growth-oriented businesses. Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance Agency.
Welcome back to the Farmington Civic Center, and I am here with the one and only Randy West and talking about his latest production, The Wizard of Oz. Randy, welcome back. Thank you, to Scott, KSJE. for having us. Thank You're, you. We're always glad to get a chance to share a little of your time. Well, we appreciate that very, very much. And so um, here we are in the final days of rehearsals for Wizard of Oz, and uh, how are things going? Good. Good. It's a big show. It is a big I show. I think it's the biggest cast we've had. Right. Uh, when we were uh, putting, well, we did local auditions back in February for both Damn Yankees and Wizard of Oz. And Sarah Harkness, who is my associate director and choreographer, said, Randy, we need to take about 20 munchkins and about 20 uh, Land of Oz people. And I said, fine. And then we got the biggest talent turnout that we've ever gotten here for the summer. And I, and I just kept wheedling. And so I think we have 34 Merry Old Land of Oz people and maybe 32 munchkins. And the munchkins are uh, teens and younger, and the Merry Old Land is teens and older. And then we have a core of about 18 professionals that are in the middle of it mentoring. So uh, we add, you add all that up, and it's a pretty good group of people. It's a lot of people, right, to keep track of. Well, and, and, uh, and costume by the theater company in Upland, California. Right. They costume all our shows, but uh, and they are a professional company that does professional musicals. So <clears throat> they also have a, a educational uh, part and, an, and a, uh, a community theater part, but... Uh, we're in the professional costumes, which are made with heavier material, made to last longer. And I've known them since I graduated from college, believe it or not. And they're just practically family. And when you see all those munchkins come out in the munchkin, every single munchkin costume practically is different. And it's just really something to see when all those kids come out. We're looking at the photos of, oh, of the munchkins, too, as you're talking about it. And the Wicked Witch, of course, who is... Shara, uh, yes, Shara Piper, course, who, and, uh, who when you go green. looking for a, a scary, wicked witch, go, go hire a middle school music teacher. That's what I've learned. <laughs> there you go. That's true. That's no, Shara's great. All, She's wonderful. It? No, she is. She's terrific. And, uh, and so we're seeing some of the other photos of the of the cast and, and crew. But uh, the kids in the show have been working all summer, have they Since not? Since June. Yeah. They rehearse what we do. It, we call it whatever the show is, boot camp. Mm -hmm. And they rehearse for an hour and a half on Mondays because that's the day that the professional company is dark. So on the day when we're dark, uh, well, it was Shara, actually, and Sarah, get that right, uh, working with them with other people involved every Monday for 90 minutes, and then they worked with the adults for 60 minutes. So when we put these shows together, we basically have a 14-day rehearsal period, and the professionals come in knowing their stuff to a certain extent. But uh, with the locals knowing everything they have to sing, everything they have to dance, we just need to coordinate them into the other people mm -hmm. and it's it's a it's a mentoring program that i thoroughly believe in i think when you take talented either kids you know uh, middle school high school kids or adults and put them around really talented and giving professionals everybody shoots up and uh, we also run a program we uh we don't scream at anybody uh we we don't demean anyone when I teach directors how to direct, I tell them to build fertile soil and encourage talent to grow in it. And uh, because we're really looking in an art form where we're wanting you to risk and we want you to be brave and really take that chance of getting better and growing and adding to your potential. And I've been directed by all kinds of directors and the ones that I felt were going to yell at me I only worked in my safe zone. I did everything I could to not get caught making a mistake. Well, Sarah and I say, if you're going to make a mistake, make a big one. I mean, and, and then stay with it because I've had many moments when somebody made a mistake in the show and somebody at intermission came up and said, that one piece of that number was brilliant. And I always claim it. I say, yeah, yeah, Sarah and I, it's all us. <laughs> so if you make a big mistake, they'll think we did it. See, there you go. And so, but a lot of these folks, uh, and I know from personal experience, have just wrapped up Damn Yankees, right. and they rolled right into right. uh, to Wizard of Oz. And to me, that's 
incredible and amazing to be able to go from one and start rehearsing while the first show is still wrapping up. Well, and it's so different. I mean, uh, two different shows, yeah. Matt, two different musicals. Yeah, but yeah. Matt was the devil in Damn Yankees, and he's the Tin Man who is sentimental and missing, wanting a heart in mm-hmm. this. And then Brian, who was the uh, the manager of the baseball team, is the cowardly lion here. So you just see, because these people, this is what they want to do for a living. So they work really hard to make, if they're doing two back-to-back shows, showing their range that they yep. don't just do the same thing. Right, which is amazing. It is cool. You know, amazing too. Actually, and then we've got Zeta, who we've had Zeta in our company since we, well, since Mama Mia. Right. But uh, she was Annie and Annie when she was about 14. And uh, Core Company, which is the selected company of actors that have earned their space in the professional company, the core company voted unanimously to make Zeta a core member of our company when she was 14. And uh, so she did play Annie. She came back the next year and into the woods. She played Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, she, and, and she's doing great things up in Durango with her high school. That's been, we went up there and saw you're in town and surprised her last year. But she and actually Peter Mayhew, who is the mayor of the Munchkins, he's terrific, um, They both won slots in the International Thespian Society competition this summer. So they both went and they both did really well, but they couldn't do Damn Yankees because they came to me and said, you know, Randy, we feel awful. I said, you shouldn't feel awful. You should feel thrilled. Come back and do Wizard of Oz when it's over. And Peter is playing the mayor and two or three other roles. And Zeta is the scarecrow. And uh, and she's cute as a button. I mean, she's so... She's both, both dance trained and, and gymnastics trained that she just looks like there's no bones in her body at all. So that core company, and then Emma, who has been with us for so many years, Emma Price, is Dorothy, and it's a dream role for her. It's something she really wanted to do. And then Sean McCall, who's in most of our shows, he was the older Joe in Damn Yankees. He's the Wizard of Oz in this. And his wife, uh, Jackie, uh, has is still in the uh, in in Iowa, but she pl- I saw her play Glinda before and she was terrific, and they worked their schedule so so uh, both Sean and Jackie are here and she's playing Glinda for us. Shara is the Wicked Witch and oh my gosh is she uh, terrific. And then when we were looking at Munchkins and sorting through, I I went to uh, looked at Sarah and I said, what about Evie as Toto? And so my job mostly here has been to make up Toto ad-libs because uh, <laughs> the dog doesn't really have any lines in the show, but the dog does now. The dog's funny. Okay, all right. So that's hey. kind of highlights. Yeah, sure. Well, and we talked to uh, Dorothy and uh-huh. Toto, so let's hear a little bit from them about their, their parts and what they think about the show and how it's all coming together. Great. Here we go. We need to talk a little bit about their part in The Wizard of Oz. Emma and Evie are here. Emma plays Dorothy, of course, and Evie is Toto in The Wizard of Oz. And let me start with you, Evie. Talk to me a little bit about playing a dog. How do you do that? Uh, I bark a lot. Do you? Okay. <laughs> do you have a favorite scene? Oh, yes, I do. Which one? It's the poppy scene, because I get to sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can curl up? Uh, yeah. A little bit? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Any other favorite scene? Uh, jitterbug scene. The jitterbug scene. Okay. All right. We'll have to come and watch and see what that is. So, and you are not new to Four Corners Musical Theater because you and I worked together back in Annie days. Yep. And you've been a part of other productions too, haven't you? Like Frozen. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that's a good placement. So there you go. And that one, Newsies. Okay. So you must like this acting thing. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Emma, let me come to you and ask you about playing Dorothy. You just got off uh, five weeks at uh, Sandstone with Damn Yankees, and so there's it's nonstop for you. Mm-hmm. How's it going? It's going good. Right? Happy to keep the summer of theater going. Good. And, of course, Dorothy is an iconic role. Have you played Dorothy before? I have not. Okay. I'm originally from Kansas, and this show is like our every night bedtime story growing up. So... It's been a part of my life ever since I was super little, and it's been a dream come true to 
put it to life. Nice. Favorite scene for you? Oh, I like the jitterbug as well because it's a phenomenal dance by Sarah. Okay. And I'm always a sucker for when Dorothy says goodbye to all the friends at the very end because right. it's such an earned goodbye and built on love and friendship and connection. Nice. Nice. Very good. Well, thank you both very much for joining me. Good luck with the show. Can't wait to see it. And I'm back here at the Farmington Civic Center with Randy West, who is the Civic Center supervisor, who is bringing Wizard of Oz to the stage, opening uh, this Thursday. That's right. And for just two weeks, right? Right. But you've got we five have shows add, a we week. We have added performances. We normally play Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 7.30, and then Sunday at 2. But we've added shows for this, so there is still a, a show Thursday at 7.30, Friday at 7.30, but on both Saturday and Sunday, we are doing a 2 p.m. matinee and a 7.30 evening show, and that's for both weekends. So there are added shows because of the amount of people in the cast, and we wanted to make sure that everybody got a chance to see it right. multiple times if they wanted to. Very good. And, uh, and doing two shows in one day, is that, that's, that's a lot <coughs> I, to me. It, it is. Um, it's within the realm of professional theater to do two shows on Saturday and, and some theaters do two on Sunday. Okay. But uh, it was also trying to get in the extra shows. Some of the kids are already back in school starting tomorrow. True. And we wanted to make sure that if we, if we did three weekends, we'd be digging deeper into... The, and we literally took a week between End of Damn Yankees and being in tech for this. Which right. So it, we, we couldn't bang it any closer into the summer. We had to go the other way. And so that's why we decided on the more shows in only two weekends. Got it. Okay. FarmingtonShows.com is where folks can go for tickets and all the other information, right. right, about uh, about this show. And uh, I want to ask you a bit about some of the technical stuff that's part of this show, because there certainly seems to me to be a lot of it, maybe more so than some of the shows that we've seen. There are. We're running, I think, 32 wireless microphones, which Ed, our technical director, is the, is the magic microphone guy. But uh, we also... Uh, when I did this show at the Sondheim Center, we created a pretty uh, uh, complicated multimedia package for it. And we shot, I, I was running a studio also at the time, so we shot a lot of green screen footage that we integrated into the multimedia. And when I went back to the guy who is still a family friend that built that with me before, I said, can we just rent the deck and then change it? And he said, of course you can't. He said, tell me what you need. Send me the green screen stuff, and my son and I will edit it. So oh. it was edited in Fairfield, Iowa. But we went to the college. Um, I have some connections with the theaters at the college. And, uh, and the radio station. And the radio station. I understand. And, uh, yes, everybody helped. Uh, my wife is Margaret Clare, and she runs the three theaters at the college. And uh, their black box is tricked out now to be a green screen studio, and they invited us in, and we shot all the new, new green screen footage, and then we integrated it, and so there is times that you just see the image moving, like the bubble for the witch, or flying, uh, sorry, bubble for the good witch, or the broom flying with the bad witch, or there are times when we recorded their dialogue, and they're actually talking, in the green screen, the, when the wizard's flying out in the balloon, all of his balloon dialogue was recorded with Sean. There's an appearance with the witch where it's literally in the multimedia. So in that way, well, the production we're doing was created by the Royal Shakespearean Company in, in England, and they got the rights to the whole MGM movie. So we thought it was another cool way to integrate our show into the movie more if we had more um, cinematic sure. moments, which right. is what we're doing. Also, you can hear behind me, there are glorious moments when there are people singing off stage that create that MGM sound. You can hear them right now, that big full sound with a fully... We're doing it to tracks, but there are empty pit tracks, and there, there's, 30, there's a 33-piece orchestra playing the tracks, so the tracks really sound like the movie. Nice. So okay. uh, I, I think it'll be a nice blending of a new take. Now, for example, if I only had a, all of those, brain, heart, right. um, 
when they were writing it for the movie, they all had this introduction that we're doing now. They cut it for time. Ah. So they, ext- they also, in the original show, they cut the Jitterbug number because they thought it would time date the show. And, of course, Jitterbug is just as done now as it was back then. But um, we, um, they also added a big dance break into the Jitterbug number, which we are doing. And, uh, and we have all of our cast dan- uh, dressed as Jitterbugs. Okay. And then at right. times they're the Winkies. Right. And at times they're, uh, they're the Monkeys. So it's, it's, a, it's a real fun um, look. Of, uh, it's a very extensive... Um, loyal to the movie, uh, fun adaption of Wizard of Oz. Sure. Well, and we're seeing on the screen right now some of the costumes, of course, which help to make it very similar to what we recognize right. from the film, of course. Right. Now, and they're not in makeup in, the, in this footage. Right. But they will be in they the real be. show. So even yeah. more so, even yeah. more convincing, right? Right. Uh, and so, so it's amazing. And now, did the flying monkeys actually get to fly? In the green screen. Right. Yes, okay. they do. All right. Carrying Dorothy and Toto. Okay. So. And, and you know... I, I can't. Matt Laberge, who you just heard was the music, is the musical director. He's terrific. He's done other shows with us. He runs a very prestigious uh, youth choir in Maine. So dealing with the Munchkins and stuff was just in his wheelhouse. But uh, Ed, who's been my musical director, Jordan, who is my production manager, everybody that works here is so committed to it, but no one more so than Sarah Harkness, who is my associate director, is the choreographer. This show is a big dance show, and I, you know, I, I think Damn Yankees was a bigger dance show in terms of more stuff, but the, 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 the jitterbug number is something to see, kind of the 11 o'clock number in our musical theater ven- vernacular, right. but uh, it, uh, they're, they're, the Maryland Land of Oz number is huge. The, the Munchkin number is really fun, so there's scope to it, as well as, you know, it's a, one of those weird musicals where it's so much about, like, four characters going through a journey tale, but then they meet these things with a lot of people. But it's, so it's got both. It's got characters that you really care about and big scope as a musical. Sure. And, and a lot of people, as you said at the beginning, right, you've cast a lot of folks for this, for this musical, and so um, they pretty much fill the stage, I would absolutely. think, in some scenes, yes. right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And so, um, so with this, any other, um, I guess, issues that came up during the production of this? I mean, it's, a, it's just a big show. Well, it's coordination. Yeah. We have Amber Swank, who's a dear friend of the uh, company. That we have a separate room for the munchkins to go and, and get ready, and then they cue them and they bring them on. And they're, when they're on. not on stage, they're and kind of... Then they bring them room. back to a room right. where they can wait and watch videos until curtain call. Mm-hmm. And uh, some of that is the same thing for the Merry Old Land of Oz people. They have the boardroom, so they have a room to hang out in when they're not here because we just can't have everybody loaded in the wings because we've got set right. pieces going in, in and out of that. So sure. it, 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 it's... I'm very pleased with it, and it's, a, it's so good for Four Corners Musical Theater to do this kind of production where we have this core of crazy talented people and, that are mentoring the locals so that I never want you to come see this and say, you know, there were these great professionals and then really good community people. I want them to just come see it and say what a great group of people it was doing musical theater, and I think we're going to be there by Thursday. Okay. All right. You blend them together. I Absolutely. Think, pretty, pretty well. Absolutely. Um, on the screen, we're seeing a little bit of the multimedia with uh, Cher, the Wicked uh-huh. Witch of the West, of course, and that's another part of this whole um, production, right? Right. That you are coordinating with the poppies and uh, right. And the now actors. you can kind of see the poppies going on in front of the. So that's the regular size people. Right. A, a very important scene. Of Absolutely. Course, from the story, as Puts we all them to know. Sleep. Right. Exactly. And so I just want to say one thing about Damn Yankees, yes. if you don't mind, because that all. wrapped up a five-week run. Um, you were very gracious in casting me in a small You part. were terrific. Well, I don't know about that, but you thank were. you. We got through it. We got through it. And we did. Um, but uh, We had a little weather issue. Weather but... didn't help, that's true, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. And so thank you for that. And I think a lot of folks that I heard, audiences loved it, yes. and, were, and maybe weren't familiar with Damn Yankees before they came and saw it, right. and now they really love the, the show. You know, I've heard the same it. thing about Baby, which is what we did in March, that people didn't know what it was, but it was a very moving 
right. really tight, ni- great moment, m- great evening of musical theater. And so we're, we're building confidence in our audience to ask them to please just believe if you come out, we're going we're gonna to be worth a 90 year life. And certainly with Wizard of Oz, you, you walk in knowing the ending, most of you. So uh, it's a well-known... Don't known, give it away. Yes. Spoiler alert. Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> but, but it is a show that's so well-known that as you're listening to them sing the background stuff behind me, I bet almost all of you have visions of the movie because it's so familiar. True. And it's just a really sweet story to get to tell to Farmington. Well, very true. And as Emma told us, she's growing up in Kansas. This is you're a right. story that they tell every, every night at bedtime, you know, almost. Right. So. It's, uh, it's part of her, uh, her youth, I think. So yes, this was her dream role, kind of like uh, Lola was uh, Sarah's dream role. So we, we hit dream roles nice. this summer for people. Very, very good. Now, what's next? Can we talk about what's next? We can. We just got the rights, and we're okay. just announcing. We ended up starting to do a Halloween musical, and I didn't mean to. I was trying to do one in September, but professional contracts take so long to get done that we ended up that first October doing Rocky Horror, And then after that, we did Sweeney Todd. And then after that, we did Little Shop of Horrors. And so we were looking for something that would be funny, but engaging and splashy. And uh, when Mel Brooks originally did uh, Young Frankenstein on Broadway, it ran three hours and 30 minutes. And then they took it to the West End of London and they got it down to two hours and 15 minutes with an intermission. And I don't miss that hour and 15 minutes, still okay. it's gone. It's still okay. No, it's still, it's less reprises, it's less repeating stuff. But yes, we are doing Young Frankenstein for the last two weekends of October here. Okay, all right. I didn't know that was a Halloween show. I thought you just did it for my birthday. No, That's we do. That's what I thought. We also, yeah. it's your birthday <laughs> right. as well. True, true. Um, but Young Frankenstein, that'll be yeah. fun for folks to it's come a, and see. Another, it's a really big, it's Mel Brooks never met an ovation he didn't want to try to force an audience to give. So every number is yaha at the end. Big finish. But it's got all the classic, you know, young Frankenstein moments are in there. And, and it was kind of like when we did Spamalot, the Monty Python people were screaming lines at us when we were doing right. Spamalot because they knew what the punchline was. It was a great environment to us. I think we'll have a little of that in Young Frankenstein. Very good. So that's what's coming up in October. In, in October. Okay. Well, we'll look forward to it. Any other um, things we can you can tell us? Well, uh, we're, we're right after we close Wizard of Oz, we go into rehearsal for Rock of Ages, which is the Teen Voices right. show. So it's 12 to 18. It's, a, it's an adaption of it. I think it runs about 70 minutes. And uh, we're... Uh, the, so the kids perform the last three days of September. And then on October 5th, We have the actual Rock of Ages Broadway band coming in to do the score of Rock of Ages uh, live, and they've invited our kids to do the encore with Oh, hey. How cool is that? So they get to go out and sing with the actual uh, Broadway. And then in in December, we're founding a whole new thing that is for the Heather McGoy Academy, which is going gangbusters here, which is where we get the professional actors and local people to teach the all ages of talent and we're going to do there is now uh it's about a 70 minute version of uh it's a a charlie brown christmas and it's the the original christmas special adapted to live theater and we're going to hold actual auditions and pick the very best eight to ten people in our academy and ask them to give of their time. We're all giving of our time to do the show and do it for a week in the theater. And all the money we collect goes nice. to the Heather McGoy Academy. And we hope that that's going to be something we do every year with a different group of best kids. Okay. So that, that gets us to the fall and new stuff. Right. Very true. All right. Very, very good. My favorite line, I got a rock. There you go. Right? From Absolutely. Charlie Brown Christmas. So there you go. Okay. Well, Randy, we really appreciate your time and letting us come in to see the rehearsal of uh, Wizard of Oz. There's a lot going on behind us, and uh, it's a it's a great looking show, a great sounding show. Thank you. Um, Again, I think you know you you can just tell when you're looking at this group of people that these are Munchkins, 
these are Wizard of Oz people, and uh, these are folks from Kansas, right. so it, it really fits. So Thank you. We're looking Thank forward to so seeing much. it. It's a thrill, and I do it with a whole bunch of really creative people, creative people, believe me. You've got a good team. Yes. You've got a good team. So thank you very much. That's My Randy pleasure. West, supervisor here at the Farmington Civic Center, and talking with me a little bit about the Wizard of Oz, which, of course, will be uh, coming on stage, gosh, this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and again next week as well. And tickets are available at... Uh, FarmingtonShows.com. And two shows on Saturday and two shows on Sunday. That's new for us. Right. Very right. true. So you can hit a matinee if you don't want to come out in the evening. So good to know. All thank right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for supporting the arts in Farmington. All of you out there and certainly everybody who works with Scott. Very true. Thank you, Randy. Thanks my for bringing pleasure. the arts to Farmington. Oh, so my pleasure. We appreciate that, too. This has been KSJE On the Road. KSJE On the Road is supported by Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance Agency with local offices in Farmington and Durango. Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance provides their clients a consultative, customized approach for discovering and mitigating risk. Their four-step comprehensive approach includes commercial insurance, employee benefits, personal insurance, and proactive safety and HR tools for growth-oriented businesses. Kaiser Millennium Levitt Insurance Agency. I love my job. I make a difference in someone's life today. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Please help me, my child. Sending the paramedics to help you stand the word. The payoff to know that my career provides someone with the help they need when they need it. That's why I do what I do. KSJE On the Road is supported by the San Juan County Partnership, whose mission is working together with people of all ages and cultures to develop community wellness and prevention awareness. The San Juan County Partnership is a nonprofit community action agency facilitating collaboration and resource identification and sharing. The partnership provides prevention programming for youth and families, raising awareness of prevention efforts, supporting community planning activities and projects, and serves as a forum for community input, networking, and research sharing. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Forgive me for not greeting you in person. I require your assistance. You must go to the crime scene and examine it with a fresh eye. Test Scotland Yard's findings. Trust the evidence, not the theories. Collect the data and record your observations in your notebooks. Hurry along now. The game's afoot. KSJE On the Road is supported by San Juan County, building a stronger community since 1887. San Juan County includes the San Juan County Sheriff's Office, San Juan County Fire and Rescue, San Juan County Office of Emergency Management, and Riverview Golf Course in Kirtland. The mission of San Juan County is to provide responsible public services through the direction of the county commission while striving to be professional, courteous, and committed to improving the quality of life for citizens that it serves. Learn more at sjcounty.net. There are days when the weight of the world is heavy on your shoulders. But there is something you should know. You are never alone. There are beautiful people in this world who will walk with you when you feel off course, guide you when you need it most. They are there for you. And they're closer than you think. 
KSJE On the Road is supported by Four Corners Economic Development, supporting and building economically vibrant businesses and communities in the Four Corners region through effective partnerships. Foresaid is a public-private partnership that unites county and municipal governments with its member businesses and other resource partners to build the intentional economic future of San Juan County. Learn more about the ways Foresaid is helping existing businesses thrive and grow and attracting new businesses to the community at the number 4cornersed.com.